Today we're launching 20 new microprocessors, over 500 new design wins shipping, laptops, desktop models, and everything in between. And to give you a scale about how big the Sandy Bridge opportunity is for the industry, in 2011 alone, just the first year of shipments, Sandy Bridge will represent over one third of Intel's corporate revenues this year and will generate over $125 billion of revenue for the PC industry. This is a huge, huge product. Overall, Sandy Bridge have got 1.16 billion transistors on a chip. Guys, I would like to, remind, to repeat it. 1.16 billion is a big number. So what you see over here is 1.16 billion transistors. Just to put things in perspective, if you take one human hair, the diameter of the human hair, if you put it on this die, will cover 2,500 transistors under one human hair. Now, all of you know Moore's Law, 1.16 billion transistors. Most of you, the average, the smart one, you've got 100 million neurons in your brains. So if you look at Murlo, pretty soon we are going to go after you. <laughs> so I don't want to scare anybody, but guys, over here, I've got more transistors than most of you have got in your brain. <laughs> so again, if you look at Moore's Law, we've got 1.16 billion transistors, but pretty soon we'll be able to increase the performance, the experience, and the things that you are going to see with this. What you see over here, the important thing to take is not the avatar. Look at something that we are doing real time. This consumes huge amount of consume, compute power of Sandy Bridge with the four cores. And what we are going to do it? We are going to use it for fun. We are going to use it for social networking. We are going to use it for games because not far away, we'll be able to take my face, put it in the game, and I'm suddenly the hero, or some will argue that I'm the villain inside the game to make it much more personal. I can do real-time instant messaging. I can create movies. I can have several figures. I can imitate each one of them. And I, the ability is endless, and I just want to give you an example, because this is going to be a small part. It's going to be the gesture. It's going to be the overall interaction. And the point is the following. People keep on asking, who needs this performance? And I'm willing to bet that in three, four years, the way that we are going to communicate with our devices is going to be totally different and when we look at the keyboard and the screen the way they are today, they will look like the Middle Ages.